Number 20. Pregnant Barbie If you wanted to talk about a definitive girl toy throughout history, that would be Barbie. Barbie, in many ways, is the peak of what toys can be. It's a simple toy of a woman that can be dressed up and accessorized, have all kinds of add-ons and cars and houses and playmates and even a boyfriend who actually sticks around. And you can keep making them ad nauseum so that you can make lots and lots and lots of cash. That's exactly what Barbie has done over the years, and she's even gotten a live-action movie starring Margot Robbie. But that doesn't mean that all Barbie's designs have been winners. Oh, far from it. In 2018, a new model of Barbie would go out on the shelves, known as Pregnant Barbie. On the surface, that seems like a great idea. I mean, it could be used to teach and show that Barbie is willing to be a mother and such, but when the version actually hit the stores and parents saw how she was pregnant, well, the pictures speak volumes for themselves. They literally just opened her up, put a baby in there, and then you're supposed to undress her to get the baby out and remove the baby bump. And so you can see why parents were not exactly thrilled about it all. First off, it's creepy as all get out. And second, the fact that the children have to undress Barbie to get the baby out does not really send the best message. And there had to be better ways to show off a pregnancy than this. Talk about sending the wrong idea about how babies are born. So yes, it may not be Mattel's best work, and some could even argue that some children might ask about where babies come from a little bit too soon thanks to the doll, and who really wants to have that awkward conversation with a young child? The Creeping Baby Doll Now we're going to a toy that was made long before Barbie, and yet somehow shows that people did not learn certain lessons back then. In the 19th century, there were many beliefs about the world and the people that were both weird, offensive, and not so intelligent. Case in point, many people believe that crawling was actually an unnatural thing. No, really. Crawling was considered to be unnatural and unfit for a sane human being and was thought to be a morally suspicious act attributed to insanity and animal life. It would later be in the mid-19th century that crawling became accepted and normalized as a natural stage of development. I'm glad that it worked out that eventually, even if it did lead to the invention of this thing. The doll that you're looking at was made in the year 1871 and was meant to help children to learn how to crawl to help along with their development. A positive thing? Well, absolutely. But does the doll look creepy as heck? You better believe it. The head, legs, and hands were all made out of plaster, but the rest of the body was mechanical, and that helped to ensure that the movement of the crawl was accurate to what a baby might do. While that's rather forward thinking, it also raises the problem of how it's really freaking ugly to look at. As such, the doll was basically banned because no child wanted to be near it. And you know that when even children are scared of a toy like this, that's a big problem. One of the ironies here is that eventually there were more visually pleasing toys that did have the ability to crawl, and children naturally took to those. Now, I'm not saying that this creeping baby doll was a bad idea, but it definitely did not have the right visuals or execution. I've Pole Dancer Doll do I really have to explain why this particular toy was banned? I mean, seriously. It's called the Pole Dance Doll, and it does exactly what you think that it does. It's a young doll that swings around on a pole. There's very little leeway that you could give something like this, and yet they went full tilt with it. As you may imagine, when parents saw this toy advertised online, they were not at all happy in the slightest, because this is a children's toy that is depicting a very adult profession. And yet, the children would not know that because all they'll see is a dancing doll. Now, yes, there are ways to do pole dancing to be more about exercise, and it can be a cool thing, but that's not the image that people first think about with this toy, so you can understand why it was banned in the first place. So now we're going to leave you suspended while we check out some weekly weird art. Ha, ha, ha.
Another tried to make illusion of a dinosaur skull by adding little stones to the big moss-covered rock. Some people refer to it as the T-Rex rock. It is quite interesting how one can be creative in the woods. Still on Hilarious Signs, if you have ever watched Winnie the Pooh, then you are probably familiar with Pooh the Bear. Her house is within a tree trunk, which she accesses through a small door at the bottom of the tree. Well. Someone managed to recreate that by making a tiny door on a tree with a sign that reads, Pooh. Now, I don't know if this is meant to warn you of actual bears in the area, or someone was just trying to be funny and lighten your mood while you wander your way into the woods. In Georgia, a dog named Stucky was discovered in 1980. His name is owed to the fact that this poor old dog was found dead after he got stuck in a log. Surprisingly, his body did not decompose, but instead it was mummified. He must have been chasing a small animal when he got stuck. What is even more mind-blowing is that Stucky is said to have stayed in the log for about 20 years before he was found by loggers. He has since graced the Forest World Tree Museum in Georgia. In a different location, a group of friends were out in the foggy forest and decided to commemorate their experience by taking a photo. It is much later that they realized that at the background of their photo, there was something that looked like a man standing there, looking at them from afar. Creepy right? In a different location, a cold concrete staircase was found in the woods. This one is by no means a remainder of any building. It was just built and left there. We can't help but wonder why it exists and what was running through the minds of those people who built it. If you ask me, it looks completely out of place. We looked into this picture and are excited to reveal that indeed, many people have come across these bunch of aliens. You're probably asking yourself what exactly the statue is and where it came from. Well, located in the woods of Shirt, United Kingdom, lies the Sculpture Park. Among the diverse collection of sculptures, ranging from comedic to thought-provoking, as well as beautiful to bizarre, lies this alien-like structure. Heading to the park on purpose, one would definitely get to enjoy the wide display of sculptures in the park. However, I wouldn't say the same if one happens to stumble upon the sculptures unwillingly especially on a rainy night as some of them are too creepy to withstand. <laughs> 